Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we are making pancakes. Okay guys, so today's recipe, gluten-free, oil-free, refined sugar-free pancakes. Love it. I know uh, a lot of you out there have been waiting for this recipe for quite some time now. Uh, mainly the delay was because of the non-stick pan thing. I have an issue with non-stick pans. But after doing some research, I found this, this griddle here and it's got an echo safe surface. Um, it's supposed to be a, you know, echo friendly, safe. So even though I don't use it for very many things, it's really just for the pancakes. I don't feel too bad about it. So I'll give you a link in the details below uh, for this, this particular pan. So what we're gonna get started first is our blueberry sauce. I like to have blueberry sauce on my pancakes. I, I like uh, maple syrup too, but to keep the sugar down and that sugar buzz down a little bit, I'd rather go for some blueberries. So I'm just gonna get those in the pan. And we're not gonna add anything to them. This is just one 12 ounce packet, frozen blueberries, organic blueberries. We're just gonna let them cook in their own juice and we're gonna just mash them a little bit with my, this potato masher when they start getting a little bit softer. Turn that burner on. So that will be cooking while we mix up our pancakes here. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, because these pancakes are gonna be made out of oats and buckwheat. So I'm gonna make my flour out of the oats, and this is a heaping cup of oats, so it will make one cup of oat flour. And these are just regular rolled oats. And we're just gonna blend them until they're flour. That simple, right? Okay. Just gonna pour that in my bowl. And then I have a half of a cup of buckwheat flour. And this is the buckwheat flour I use right here. It doesn't really matter the brand, this is just, just what our local store carried. So a half a cup of buckwheat flour. And buckwheat is actually, even though it's called wheat, it's not in the wheat family. So it is definitely a gluten-free um, uh, food. So I've got my handy dandy cheat sheet here. So I've got one teaspoon of baking powder and one tablespoon of flax. Just gonna keep this dry, all the dry things into our bowl. Okay, and now we're gonna get our wet ingredients going. Um, so the good thing about this recipe, you know, we made our oat flour in here, but you don't have to rinse that out at all because it's all going into the same mix. So I've got two dates here. There's, a, there's actually four dates because they're de the deglet dates and they're a bit smaller. I normally use the medjool dates, but if you don't have those, you just double up on your, your deglet dates. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and that looks like about what I have left here. Maybe a little bit more than that. And that's what's gonna help them rise a little bit. That, the action between that apple cider vinegar and the baking powder, that's gonna create a rising effect. Then, instead of oil, or, you know, other things that people use in pancakes, we're gonna use half of a banana. Get some more fiber in there, that's a good thing. Okay, and then two cups of plant milk. Whatever plant milk you like. This just happens to be an unsweetened almond milk because we're sweetening it with dates. We don't need to have a sweetened almond milk. Okay. I'm just gonna pour that in there. 
And we're just gonna blend this again until it's really smooth and you don't see any more date chunks. Okay, there we go. Just gonna give our blueberries a little bit of a mash here. Keep them cooking. So that's gonna make kind of like a compote. You know, it's gonna be kind of pulverized berry sauce. So now we're just gonna pour this into, we're gonna mix our dry ingredients together just a little bit first. So it will mix evenly. Okay, then we're gonna pour our wet ingredients in there. That's gonna be a full bowl. That's all right. There's still a little bit of date chunks in there. You can see they're just little teeny chunks. That's perfectly okay. You won't even notice those in there. And then we're just gonna stir it up. And while you're stirring, it's gonna start thickening. And as you're cooking your pancakes, which we're getting our burners heated up here to, we're gonna do about 325. So while you're making the pancakes, this batter will continue to thicken. So you may have to add just a little bit more of your plant milk, or you can add just a little bit of water if it gets too thick to make your pan, you know, when you pour your pancakes in there to get them to spread out a little bit. I'm gonna grab a whisk because I think that will do a little bit better job than this. There we go. And as you see, if you notice when I put it in at first, it looked a little bit watery, but now it's thickening up. It's that perfect pancake batter consistency. Okay, so all we're waiting for is our burner to heat up and then we'll start making our pancakes. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is a crowdfunded show, which means our content is made possible by the generous patronage of our paid membership community, who share our common goal to teach the world how to easily and permanently switch to a plant-based diet. My husband and I create these free weekly cooking shows to share all of the delicious recipes that we use every day in our own family kitchen. Our recipes are now used by hundreds of thousands of viewers every month from all over the world. Our paid memberships offer additional perks like access to our eBooks and in-depth courses, including our 28 days plant-based made easy course where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. With meal plans, shopping guides, daily learning materials, and over 65 of our favorite recipes. If you love our content and find it's helping you to live your best plant-based life, please join us on our mission to share this life-changing message with the world and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. It is the continued growth of our supporting member community that makes this show possible. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, full disclosure. I was wondering why my pan wasn't heating up while I was making that batter. It wasn't plugged in. <sighs> Dilemmas, right? Okay, but in that time, it's allowed this to thicken up a little bit more. Beautiful, just perfect. All right, so now our pan is hot. We can make our pancakes. And I don't like to make huge ones. These are probably, I don't know, three inches across or so. And this recipe will make about a dozen pancakes. So that's a pretty good, you know, there's four of us in our family. So that's just about the perfect amount for us not to overeat them anyway. The first time I made these, I made a double batch and we ate almost all of them, but we were very full. Okay, so I can get about seven on this griddle. 
which is fantastic because the way I was making them before, it was one pancake at a time. And when you got four people to feed, one pancake at a time isn't gonna make it. Okay, so I'm gonna give my blueberries a little stir and a mash. Those are looking really great. And the great thing about blueberries too, you don't even really have to add a thickener in there because they have, they're loaded with pectin. So that pectin comes out and is a natural thickener. Okay, so our pancakes, I'm sure you've all made pancakes before. And how do you know when they're done? You know when they're done, and you can see these little bubbles. The bubbles pop and they stay popped. And that, that, that little circle stays open. So that's a good indicator that it's time to flip. So these are, these are looking just about there, maybe a, just a little bit more. So it only takes, you know, 30 seconds or so. Just depends on the heat of your burner. Okay, give that first one a flip. Look at that. Golden brown, fluffy little pancakes. Ah! All right, so I'm gonna finish these up and then I'll meet you at the table. Okay, now for my favorite part, the tasting. Okay, I've got a couple here and look at this. Look at this berry compote. Yum, so thick. Okay, put that on there. Mm, smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Light and fluffy. Not too sweet. Just the way I like them. Mmm. So be sure to like this video, and I'll see you next time.